generating a hydraulic jump downstream of the gate. Turn the pump on to generate the flow across the channel. Make sure that the overshot wear is set to the bottommost position and the gate is at a height above the critical depth for the plug. Move the gate to a height below the critical depth of the channel. Move the overshot wear to a height above the critical depth to create a high drive jump. Measure the upstream depth of the supercritical flow and the downstream depth of the subcritical flow after the jump. Repeat this for three different flow rates. Flow rates can be measured by recording the time it takes to fill up a graduated cylinder. Generating a hydraulic downstream of a broad crested weir. First, insert the broad crested weir in the middle of the channel. Change the height of the overshot weir until a hydraulic jump occurs near the weir. Measure the height of the water above the weir. Measure the depth of the water before and after the jump downstream of the weir. Repeat this for three different floaters. Dye can be added to increase the visualization of the flow path. So this is the process of classifying the jump. Um, here's your diagram of what's going on. Uh, the water flowing over the weir. This is your Y1, your Y2 that you measured. And to find the fruit number, you want to find it for both Y1 and Y2, fruit number one and fruit number two. This is the equation flow rate squared times T over A cubed times gravity, uh, all that squared, and your A is actually your top width times your uh, Y value, whether it's one or two, depending on what fruit number you're calculating. And your Y2 theoretical uh, height, you're going to have an experimental Y2 and a theoretical Y2, um, and you'll compare them. The theoretical Y2 is defined by this equation originally a ratio to bring the y1 back over. And the energy dissipation, uh, you also need that to classify the weight uh, that's characterized by this equation. y2 minus y1 with that quantity cubed over four times y1 y2. So these are the different jumps associated with the fruit number and energy dissipation that you'll calculate. And these are the characteristics that those jumps will have. Just need to slow the motion Don't get out of the way to know